Now, what's nice about this one, ladies and gentlemen, is this example is already factored. So since it's already factored and equal to 0, all we need to do now is apply the zero product property. So I'll simply say x equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0, x plus 1 equals x plus 1 squared equals 0, and x minus 1 squared equals 0. OK? Now, we already know x equals 0. That one's easy. This, x equals 3. Now, to get rid of the square, square, I need to take the square root. And I'm just left with x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals, so my zeros are x equals 0, 3, negative 1, and positive 1. You take the square root, that just gives it, but you're still left with that expression. And then hence, I also should know, we'll talk about this later, but these also, these two zeros have a multiplicity of 2, which we'll talk about, and I'll go over multiplicity in it later.